Hello everyone. I have created a very simple setup for the renders, it includes the scene setup with components such as camera, geometries, lights, materials, and render engines for Karma, Arnold and Render Man. Today we will be learning to use the Bandor for lights in Solaris with different render engines. So let's start with Karma first, to use the Bandor with Karma, we will require to enable the spotlight. The spotlight spread can be controlled using the cone angle and we can control softness of cone-shaped light corridor using softness parameters. By modifying the left barn door and right barn door values, we can control and set up the barn door blockage based on our requirements. As you can see that setting up barn door in Karma is quite straightforward. Now let's set up the barn door for the Arnold. Let me make the Arnold settings in the light to defaults. For Arnold light to have the barn door, we will require to apply the shader to the light. So we will create a material library to generate a shader. The Arnold lighting follows the workflow with light filters to get the barn door working. We will take the barn door node and to output as the light filters, we will require it to output through light output. I am adding a layer break to keep the flow of layers maintained. We will apply the shader to the light. Now as you can see even after applying the shader the barn door doesn't work as Arnold light currently supports barn door filter with only point lights. We will adjust the parameters according to our requirements, let's change the door values to get desired output. But the problem with point light is, it gives very sharp shadows. Currently Arnold barn door doesn't support other shapes of light in Sir Lorry's. But it supports the sphere shape and it gives us the desired look of our shadows. This is how you can use Barndor or any other filters with Arnold lights in Sir Lorry's. We will set up Barndor for the render man now. Let me convert the light shape to rectangle again. I will remove these two nodes at the moment and reset the parameters. To get the light filter working with render man, you will require to add the PX a light filter node after your light. The reason to add it after the light is, it will require the link of the light. It will generate the barn door for the light as you can see it in the viewport. The barn door will require to match the position and rotations to get the realistic output. This filter is basically a dummy object which you can imagine as a door for light rays. You can adjust its position to get the required look and we can adjust its size to manage our barn door. There are two modes as physical and analytic. Analytic gives an blockage of the light as we can see in the viewport. We can use it according to our requirements. This is the way to set up Barndor in Renderman in Sir Lorry's. Now there's a catch with PXR light filter in Sir Lorry's at the moment. If I create a new light on the grid and add the light filter to it, it moves according to the light's movement, but if you already have light positioned somewhere and you create a filter then it doesn't move along with the light. I was not able to find any solution for this. Please comment if you figure out a solution for this issue. So these are the methods to add Barndor or filters in Karma, Arnold and Renderman. I think you can follow the similar methods to add Gobbo and other filters in Arnold and Renderman. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching this video.